Podcast. After Pro. Hi guys for this video I will discuss arrangements of 8 cells in 6 different ways. In these arrangements we will notice the difference of the output voltage of the terminal end of the sources and also the difference between the current. By the way guys. Please make sure to finish the video for you to fully understand the discussion. Also don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. So. Let's say that the voltage of each cell is 1.5 volts and the current capacity is 5 amperes. E subcell which denotes voltage of each cell. Which is equal to 1.5 volts. I subcell which denotes current capacity of each cell, which is equal to 5 amperes. Okay guys. We go now for the first connection of the cell. Which is series connection. It is connected in such a way that the negative terminal of the cell is connected to the positive terminal of the other cell. It is repeated until the eight cells are already connected in series. As you can see, that the terminal of the series sources here have a positive and negative terminal. The value of its total voltage is equal to 1.5 volts multiplied by 8. Where 1.5 volts is the value of each cell and 8 is the total number of cells connected. So 1.5 volts multiplied by 8 will be equal to 12 volts. And since it is series connected sources, so the current capacity of the circuit will be equal to 5 amperes. The next connection guys will be parallel sources. It is connected in such a way that all of its positive terminals are connected together and as well as its negative terminals which are also connected together since it is connected in parallel connection the voltage will be 1.5 volts while the current capacity will be equal to 5 amperes multiplied by 8 sources that will result in 40 amperes in other words guys for series connected sources current will be the same and voltage will be added up while for the parallel connected sources, the current will be added up. And voltage across the sources will be all the same. Okay next connection guys will be parallel series. The connection of the sources will be like this. Since each of the cells is equal to 1.5 volts. For the one side. The voltage of the series connected sources will be 1.5 volts multiplied by 4 which is equal to 6 volts. Because the voltage will be summation of series connected sources. While the other side is also equal to 6 volts. And now we apply the conditions for the parallel sources. So the voltage of the parallel series sources will be equal to 6 volts. Next is the current of the sources. The current capacity of each cell. Is equal to 5 amperes. For the current capacity of the series portion of the circuit it will be 5 amperes. After we added up the series portion of the sources, we can simplify. There are two identical sources connected in parallel. So the total current capacity of the parallel series connected source will be 5 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 10 amperes. Next connection will be series parallel. The diagram of the example is drawn like this. So based on the diagram the voltage of the parallel portion will be 1.5 volts because the sources are connected in parallel. But since there are two identical parallel sources connected in series the voltage is equal to 1.5 volts. Multiplied by 2. That will result in 3 volts. For the current capacity. Since this portion is in parallel. The current is added up. So 5 amperes multiplied by 4. Since there are 4 sources in parallel in the first portion. Which is equal to 20 amperes. And since there are 2 identical parallel sources connected in series. The current is still 20 amperes. Another connection for a cell will be a parallel series with 4 parallel groups of 2 cells in series. 
In this diagram the voltage will be 1.5 volts times 2. Which is equal to 3 volts. And the current capacity is 5 amperes multiplied by 4. Which is equal to 20 amperes. Last example guys is a series parallel with 4 series groups of 2 batteries in parallel. The voltage of the circuit is equal to 1.5 volts times 4. Which is equal to 6 volts. And the current capacity is equal to 5 amperes times 2. Which result to 10 amperes. So as summary guys for the series sources. The voltage will add up. And the current will be the same as the individual unit. While for parallel sources the voltage will be the same as the individual unit. And for the current. It will add up. And for the combination circuit just apply the conditions for series and parallel batteries. For parallel series. You have to solve first for the series portion of the circuit then go to its parallel groups. For the series parallel. You have to solve first for the parallel portion of the circuit then go to its series groups. Hey guys, thank you for watching. See you on my next vlog. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos.